What's up guys, JR Raymond back again, coming to you from MRB Classic Pro Shop, where I'm always at. I'm always drilling balls, I'm always doing something over here. Um, so today we're gonna to show you some shots, a couple different shots from a Pitch Purple, which is actually urethane, and then a Intimidator here, which is a big, strong, high-end bowling ball uh, that has a much shorter pin distance. This has a three quarter inch pin distance. And this is what I'm talking about when it comes to, you have options. You have the option of drilling a ball like this, and then you have the option of drilling a urethane ball. Now the difference between these two bowling balls obviously is gonna be that this ball carries down the oil, whereas this one only does it a little bit. This one does it quite a bit faster than what this one's going to do. So we're gonna take this out on the lanes. I'm gonna show you a couple shots and narrate you through it, but you can see a similarity between the two and why this might be a better option for you than drilling a urethane ball. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so this is just about letting you see a couple different balls. See the pitch purple and you see the intimidator. One short inch pin, the pitch purple being a standard layout. So basically this is to show you that you can lay out a reactive ball uh, and get it to react like a urethane ball. And honestly, I like the way the intimidator looks here a little better than I do the pitch purple. So it's gonna be pretty neat. For the Players' Championship next week, I'll have these two balls with me and then three other uh, urethane balls or urethane type balls to take with me for the shorter pattern. So it's just uh, just just a quick little view of a couple of shots from different bowling balls laid out completely different just to give you some options of what you might be able to do if you're looking for something to be a little bit uh, a little bit more even not so much overall hook so that way you can control the lanes and not feel like you have to throw it 100 miles an hour or stand super far left compared to what you normally do so uh apologize for getting in the way uh, bad camera angle here but at least it gives you an idea and you can see what these balls are going to do It almost seemed like it was a pinch cleaner than the urethane ball because the urethane ball was, you know, they're meant to roll early. They're meant to roll early and be strong throughout the entire process. Um, this one might be a little bit different because it's going to be a little cleaner than most urethane balls. But even with the cleanliness of this, you could see how much stronger this one was than what this one was, you know, technically overall. So if you're looking for that smoother, arky, you know, shape that where you can control the lane and you don't want to have to you know, where bowling balls are super strong, you've got to, it forces you to move left. You don't want to drill, you know, one of these with a strong pin. You want to drill one of these with a weak, short pin um, and lay the core down, get it to kind of blend and give you that urethane type look. So you don't get stuck throwing urethane, making other people mad. I know most people don't care if you make anybody mad, but you are changing the lanes quite a bit with a urethane ball. Uh, granted, it's not, you know, your job to worry about what other people are doing, but if you're bowling in a team environment and you just go right to urethane, you know, you're, you're hurting your team's chances a little bit by carrying the oil down, unless you're doing it a different way. If you're playing a, you know, further left, you know, in that eight, nine, 10 range, um, and it's a shorter pattern, you know, then you're creating hold for other people. So, you know, I guess it really just depends on what you're looking for and what you're trying to do. Um, but if you're trying to get away from all that drama and you want to use reactive and get some more hitting power, go ahead and do something like this. So that's all I got for you. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, you don't have to agree with me. You might uh, you might have experimented with something like this and it didn't work out for you, but that's okay. But for those who haven't ex tried it, who haven't at least experimented with it, I would at least try it with a ball. Um, so this was this ended up being 125 um, by three quarter inch by uh, I think 70 is what it ended up being. So if you can try those numbers, give it a go uh, and see what it does for you. But if it already hasn't worked for you, don't worry about it. No, no big deal. No no love lost. But I want you to at least try it if you haven't already. So. Uh, until next time, guys, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later. Take care.